Hello everyone and welcome back. Seems like we are fast forwarding again because we are doing some more jigsaw puzzles and they take forever so I'm just going to fast forward through them. And uh, we'll unlock Hailfire Peaks which is the next level and we'll also unlock Cloud Cuckoo Land which is the last real level of the game before you fight Grunty with the final witch battle. If I sound a little winded today, it's because I just finished cleaning up the kitties' room and emptying their litter box. And they use like 40 pounds of litter, and I said, it's time to change it out. So I dumped the whole thing into a big uh, garbage bag and got a big 40 pound box of cat litter and poured it into their litter box. I do that like once every couple of months instead of just cleaning it every week I change the whole thing out okay but anyways we are at Jiggy Wigs temple and the floor is still as shiny as ever and there's the entrance to Cloud Cuckoo Land we got a little ball that we can float up into the sky but not yet first we need to go to Hellfire Peaks which is on the cliff top. We've been here before. But now we've got the claw clamber boots so we can get this Jinjo that's hiding up here. And now we can slow things down. Because we are in Hailfire Peaks. And there's Gobi. Two years, finally I've made it to the warmth of the lava world with a belly full of water. Don't be bragging, Gobi, that water's not yours. He's all happy. Don't know why a camel would want to be in the lava world, but he's happy to be here. But if you remember the last time we saw Gobi before we sprung him out of prison in Witchy World, was in the original Banjo-Kazooie game. He had given us enough water, and I think it was the summertime or the fall to water our plant one last time. And he said he was going to the lava world. And like he said, that was two years before this game was released. So it's nice they did a little follow up with Gobi. We haven't seen Tootie yet in this game either. Banjo's sister that got kidnapped in the first game. But uh, we'll see in Cloud Cuckoo Land, there's a little bit of a follow up to what happened to Tootie. Okay, we have got a Globo and we've got a giant rock falling from the sky. That's one of our dragons trying to kill us, but instead he helped us out. So now we have a fly pad. We can flick this switch over here. So we have access behind the tent so we can go back and forth to the fly pad without having a go past all those fiery hands every single time. And now we will fly up and take care of this dragon. There's two dragons in this level. There's a fire dragon on this level. And there's an ice dragon on the fire side or the ice side of Hellfire Peaks. That we will deal with as soon as we get over to the icy side. These dragons are not too hard to beat. Need ice eggs for the fire dragon and fire eggs for the ice dragon. Chili Bill, hot and spicy dragon. Uh, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. No, we are not delivery boys. I bet you've got my 12 foot spicy meat special in that backpack. Raid not, wart face. And I'll eat you instead. Sounds violent. Gotta take care of him with ice eggs. There we go. We got little ice egg launchers here. I'll soon have you licked. Got to jump over his tongue, which is easy to do if you get the timing right.
Okay, we still got plenty of health. And he is done for. Enough, I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza. I'm sure my brother will still want his. Yeah, well, you both get nothing and like it, so beat it. Go we'll get a couple of Big Al burgers. Yeah, you do that. Witchy world awaits. Okay, so we got absolutely no jiggy for that. Even though I had to run around and avoid death while being shot at by a ice dragon or fire dragon. All right, there's the exit. And while we're flying around, we can go flick the train switch, which is right over there. So Chuffy can come visit us and hail Fire Peaks. And there's actually two train stations in this level because there is a fire side and there is an ice side and each one of them has a train station. So that just opened the fire side. We saw Gobi sitting up there. Oh, we're falling. That's all right. Time to go exploring because we learn a couple of new moves in this level. But we need to get up higher. Okay, and I actually need to split up too because this move that we learn on the fire side is just for banjo. The one that we learn on the ice side is just for Kazooie. So even though I see Jam Jar sitting right there, I can't go visit him yet because I need to find a splitter pad. Which makes me wonder why I came up here in the first place. The answer is I just don't know. But we'll find a splitter pad. There's one down here somewhere. Or maybe it's up even higher. I need to climb up to find a splitter pad. And there should also be a uh, another warp pad too, so I don't have to climb past all these hands every single time I want to come up here. Okay. There's a honeycomb up here. Fortunately, I've still got Kazooie with me. So I can go up and get this honeycomb. Look out for the enemy. I see enemies. There he is. Ouch. Hot water. That's why I need to learn this move so I can go into that hot water without getting hurt. But let's get some more notes. Okay, we got our warp pad. Grab this last note right here. And then we will go split up. And go see Jam Jars. Look at that. Got my snooze pack. Just take a little snooze anytime I feel like it like a real bear. Okay. Where are you going, Banjo? There you go. He's right over there. Don't go back. He's right over there. 
No, you're going back. That's where you just came from. Look at me, I'm a professional gamer. I know exactly what I'm doing. Just have to run around in circles every now and then to make it look challenging, but I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, careful. Want to run the corner? There you go. These little hands will push you right off the edge if they touch you, so. Okay, plenty of notes. Shack pack. Make you small, fit through gaps, let you go down into liquids, which is exactly what we need just at the right time. What a coincidence. And now I will fall to my death, and I will magically be reborn next to Kazooie, which is exactly where I want to be because, like I've said before, I am a professional gamer, and I know exactly what I'm doing. which is why I am going to use the shack pack to get into this hot water and grab my fish. But I am going to forget entirely that there's a ginger over there too. So now I need to come back later in the game and get that ginger, which is sitting like right next to me. I could have just grabbed him. But that's all right. anything this shows that I just did not entirely map this game out a hundred percent in advance and that I am just kind of winging it trying to figure out where everything is and this area is kind of cool it's got a little puzzle inside that you got to solve while toxic toxic gas tries to kill you Basically, you got to push each of these buttons in a row with a number on it. There's the Roman numeral for one. So in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, we learn the Greek alphabet. And now we are learning Roman numerals. Here's the Roman numeral for number two. Ah, uh, don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the lava. Okay. This time we're not going to fall in the lava. And there's the Roman numeral for three. Over here is the Roman numeral for four, which is a one and a V. And there's the V, which is five. And if I was a Roman, I'd be saying, stop saying Roman numeral, they're just numerals. But I'm not a Roman. So I gotta say Roman numeral. And of course, we know the best way to learn Roman numerals is to watch the Super Bowls. Because they use Roman numerals to show what number Super Bowl it is rather than just put the English, or I'm sorry, the, uh, I guess it's Arabic letters. 50 and 51, they use Roman numerals just to keep everybody on their toes. Okay, you see that honeycomb over there? We're going to try to get it and we're going to fail miserably because I don't think there's any way to get it other than to go into uh, the Icicle Grotto, which comes a little bit later. But we're going to try anyways. And we failed. We're back at the beginning again. Okay. And 
inside this building. All sorts of weird stuff going on. On the left hand side we got some footprints going up where I need claw clamber boots. And I've got a bunch of uh, passages over here that are cracked. got a switch in the corner that opened these up. I'm going to use these right away because I have got a bunch of gold feathers and that is the only way to get this ginger over here. You cannot get through that water falling down unless you use the gold feathers. Okay, we need to use grenade eggs to open up all these passageways. And magically, we are back in Mayhem Temple. And while we're here, now that we have our Clockwork Kazooie eggs, I'm going to cheat a little bit and grab one of the uh, Grab one of the jiggies that we did not get earlier in the game because we didn't have the proper move at the time. So what they intended for you to do was to get the bill drill in Glitter Gulch Mine and then come back to this level and use the bill drill to move a boulder in order to get this jiggy. But if you wait even longer and you go to the wasteland and get the clockwork kazooie eggs, you can easily shoot a clockwork kazooie egg over to this jiggy and get it without having to use the bill drill or go down and mess with these uh, monoliths. Look at that, like a professional because what you're supposed to do is fly down in that area, break the boulder, and then you actually go underground and each of those monoliths goes underground also into a cave. And you have to butt them with your head. Okay, we got everything from Mayhem Temple. Never have to come back here again. But, you don't want to exit the game. What are you doing, man? Resume game, there you go. You look like an idiot. Anyways, you uh, have to butt each monolith or column with your head, and that makes the jiggy move to a lower column, and then you butt the next column, and that makes the jiggy go even lower until it gets to the lowest one, and then you run out and grab it. But you know what? If you're that interested in what you're supposed to do, you can look it up on YouTube. But the easiest thing to do is get the clockwork kazooie eggs, go back and just shoot one at it. Okay, we're a stony again. Love how this game uh, incorporates passageways to each of the different levels where you have to retro and go back in order to go forward. So there is another kickball stadium. That was the Mayan kickball stadium. And this one's the Coliseum Kickball Stadium. And we're going to go talk to this Stony. Welcome to the Coliseum Professional Championships. We like to do things differently. The lowest score wins here. So, I have to avoid getting points. So this first one, I think, starts with all red balls. We'll see. You have to shoot red balls into your net to lower your score. Hey, the best stony win. That would be me. No, it's not red balls. It's yellow balls. I need to shoot them to the other players' nets and avoid getting them in my net. How do I do that? Through sheer awesomeness. Somebody shot one of my net because I wasn't watching it. I'm going to give this red guy some points because uh, everybody's got points except the red guy. Okay. 
I am leading. If I can just avoid them shooting balls in my net, I will win. Say, oh, they got another one in, but I got a big lead. I'm good to go. Won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. Don't mind if I do. I think this is the one with the red ones where everybody starts with like 20 points and you have to, or 40 points and you have to score down. Maybe the best Stony win. Yeah, we got 50 points actually. And if you shoot the red ones in, it takes points away. So that's how somebody gets the lowest score by shooting as many red balls into their net as possible. Somebody just shot a red ball on my net. Thank you. Don't know why you did that, but you helped me out. Okay, 40. Somebody's got 39. But now I've got 36. 35. We both got 35. 34, 33. All right, I got 32. They got 35. I went. You lose. I won the semifinal. The kickball final awaits. Let's see how we're doing on time here. Eh, 22 minutes. I think we'll finish this. Get my jiggy and then call it quits for the day. And then we'll finish up Hailfire Peaks tomorrow. The best stony win. That would be me. Okay, here we start with zero. We need to shoot the yellow balls, not into the wall, Banjo, into their nets. Amazing I win any of these games. Alright, fortunately they're not shooting at me. But uh, we shoot the yellow ones into their nets to give them points. And the red ones into my net to take away points. Right now I'm losing. I got seven. The yellow ones get four. Now I got six. Now I got five. Let's give the yellow ones some points. We are barely going to make it. All right. I win. So, I will take my jiggy. And tomorrow we will fight the ice dragon. Go visit Humbawamba, get some help from Mumbo. And we will also run around like crazy trying to save a bunch of aliens. It is a very exciting conclusion to Hailfire Peaks. And I will see you next time. So you all have a good day. Bye-bye.